This is a picture showing the transverse section of the heart and what you see here is the left ventricle and this is the right ventricle. What is immediately obvious is that there is an area of mottled discoloration involving the interventricular septum as well as the anterior free wall of the left ventricle. There are areas that are darker which correspond to hemorrhage interspersed with paler areas such as these as well as these and this is in keeping with the gross appearance of coagulative necrosis. The diagnosis in this case is acute myocardial infarction. Now if you recall what you've learned in the cardiovascular system, acute myocardial infarction is often due to thrombosis of the supplying coronary arteries. So looking very carefully here, if we zoom in even further, we can actually appreciate here in the anterior pericardial fat that there is a rounded structure here and this is the left anterior descending artery or this is one of the coronary arteries that supplies the anterior uh, myocardium as well as the interventricular septum and it is completely occluded so what has happened here is actually thrombosis and if you recall the reason for thrombosis is usually due to a ruptured atheroma or ruptured plaque and therefore the underlying condition would have been atherosclerosis. So the diagnosis in this case is acute myocardial infarction secondary to coronary artery thrombosis. As you can see here, there is a second picture again showing the transverse section of the heart with a very similar view of the left as well as the right ventricles. And if we take a closer look at this, we can see that there is striking thinning of the wall of the left ventricle anteriorly as well as part, uh, partly in the interventricular septum. If we take an even closer look, we can appreciate that uh, within the interventricular septum, there are some pale whitish streaky areas and these can also be seen here as almost greyish white areas right at the area of thinning. This represents fibrosis. Fibrosis, if you recall, occurs as part of the healing process that replaces dead tissue uh, that, uh, in which the cells are not able to regenerate. So myocardial tissue is one of these tissue types and when there's previous loss of cardiomyocytes or myocardial tissue, there is healing by fibrosis. So this explains the marked thinning of the wall of the ventricle and also explains the grayish whitish areas of fibrosis. The diagnosis in this instance is therefore healed myocardial infarction. Now what are some of the complications or consequences of healed myocardial infarction if the patient initially survives the acute event. Well, as you can see, because the wall of the ventricle is so thinned, um, the patient may be prone to left ventricular aneurysm formation, which in turn can predispose the heart to rupture and cardiac tamponade as well as thrombosis. Other complications include left ventricular failure, which can eventually lead to congestive cardiac failure, and also formation of thrombi in the damaged area of the ventricular wall and with the concurrent risk of embolism. So here, hopefully, you can appreciate the differences between acute myocardial infarction, as you see here on the left, with this mottled area of discoloration, as compared to healed myocardial infarction, which is seen as an area of thinning as well as grossly appreciable fibrous tissue or fibrosis.